Tonight, all eyes will be on former President Donald Trump as he takes the stage to formally accept the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. This moment is highly anticipated, not just by his supporters, but by political analysts and critics alike. The atmosphere is electric, with thousands of MAGA supporters gathered, waving flags and chanting slogans. The stakes are high, and the nation is watching closely. But it's not just his speech that's capturing attention, it's that big bandage on his ear. The bandage has become a focal point, sparking curiosity and speculation. People are wondering what happened and why it's still there. It's unusual for a political figure to have such a visible medical dressing during a major event, and it's raising questions. Lara Trump, co-chair of the Republican National Committee and Trump's daughter-in-law, confirmed to CBS News that the bandage will remain in place tonight. She explained that it's a precautionary measure following a minor medical procedure. Lara emphasized that there's nothing to worry about and that Trump is in good health. She assured everyone that the former president is not on any medication. This statement was meant to quell any concerns about his ability to lead. Trump himself has downplayed the significance of the bandage, calling it a minor inconvenience. However, the public's fascination with it suggests otherwise, but what started as a simple medical dressing has now morphed into something much, much bigger. The bandage has taken on a life of its own, becoming a symbol within the MAGA community. It's a testament to how even the smallest details can be magnified in the world of politics. At the Republican convention, Trump's ear bandage has transcended its original purpose and become an icon. It's being talked about in speeches, mentioned in interviews, and even featured in memes. The bandage has become a rallying point, a symbol of resilience and defiance. Delegates and supporters have been seen sporting their own ear bandages in a striking display of solidarity. This act of mimicry is more than just a show of support. It's a statement. It's a way for them to say, we stand with Trump, no matter what. The bandage has become a badge of honor among his followers. They've turned a medical necessity into a powerful symbol, reminiscent of religious insignia like the cross in Christianity. This comparison might seem extreme, but it highlights the deep emotional connection that Trump's supporters have with him. The bandage is more than just a piece of gauze, it's a symbol of their unwavering loyalty. This phenomenon has sparked heated debates and raised eyebrows. Political pundits are divided on what it means. Some see it as a clever piece of political theater, while others view it as a troubling sign of blind devotion. The media is having a field day, with endless discussions and analyses. Critics argue that this bandage, now a symbol, showcases the cult-like devotion within the MAGA movement. They point to the bandage as evidence of how Trump's followers will latch onto anything associated with him. This level of devotion is both fascinating and concerning to many observers. Is it just a quirky display of loyalty, or does it underscore a deeper, almost religious fervor? This question is at the heart of the debate. The bandage has become a litmus test for how people view the MAGA movement. For some, it's a harmless quirk. For others, it's a sign of something more unsettling. As Trump steps up to the podium tonight, that bandage will be more than just a piece of gauze. It will be a symbol of his resilience and his ability to turn even a minor medical issue into a political statement. The bandage will be a focal point, drawing attention and sparking conversation. It will be a testament to his influence and the almost hypnotic hold he has over his followers. Trump's ability to captivate and mobilize his base is unparalleled, the bandage is just the latest example of how he can turn anything into a symbol of his movement. For some, it's a badge of honor. Wearing a bandage on their ear is a way for them to show their allegiance to Trump. It's a small but powerful gesture that speaks volumes about their loyalty. For others, it's a glaring red flag. They see it as a sign of how far the MAGA movement has gone in its devotion to Trump. The bandage is a symbol of a deeper issue, one that raises questions about the nature of political loyalty and the power of symbols. So. What do you think? Is the bandage a harmless show of support or a sign of something more unsettling? This question is likely to be debated for some time. The bandage has become a Rorschach test, revealing people's deepest beliefs and fears about the MAGA movement. Is the bandage a harmless show of support or a sign of something more unsettling? The answer may depend on your perspective. For Trump supporters, it's a symbol of their unwavering loyalty. For his critics, it's a troubling sign of blind devotion. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear from you. What do you think the bandage represents? Is it a clever piece of political theater or a sign of something more concerning? Your opinions matter and we look forward to reading them. And remember in politics, symbols can be just as powerful as words.
The bandage is a perfect example of this. It's a small, seemingly insignificant detail that has taken on a life of its own. In the world of politics, symbols can shape narratives and influence public opinion. Stay tuned for more political updates. We'll be following this story closely and bringing you the latest developments. The bandage may be a small detail, but it's having a big impact. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious. In the ever-changing world of politics, it's important to stay engaged and keep asking questions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next update.